Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. We're diving into some exciting developments unfolding in Iraq that could potentially reshape the future of the Iraqi Dinar. The latest update from new and guru militiaman has sparked considerable interest as it heralds the cessation of dollar auctions and the imminent introduction of a new mechanism for dollar transactions starting tomorrow. This move is not just a procedural shift but a transformative step that aims to address long-standing issues within Iraq's economic framework. For years, the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, has relied on dollar auctions to stabilize the dinar against fluctuations in the foreign exchange market. However, this method has been heavily criticized for fostering corruption, money laundering, and inefficiencies. Critics argue that these auctions have failed to achieve their intended stability and have instead perpetuated economic disparities. According to Guru Militia Man, the CBI's decision to cease these auctions signals a significant departure from the status quo. In their place, the feeder platform will be implemented, a cutting-edge system designed to bring greater transparency and regulatory oversight to foreign currency transactions. This platform mandates strict adherence to reporting requirements and guidelines, aiming to create a fairer and more accountable environment for currency trading in Iraq. From a practical standpoint, businesses and individuals seeking to purchase dollars will now need to navigate this new regulatory landscape. They must register on the FIDA platform, comply with reporting standards, and operate within the framework of enhanced regulatory scrutiny. This shift is expected to level the playing field, ensuring that dollar distribution is more equitable and efficient across the Iraqi economy. What does this mean for ordinary Iraqis and the value of the dinar? In the short term, there may be some adjustment period as the market adapts to the new system, potentially leading to initial uncertainty and volatility. However, in the long run, the move towards a more transparent and stable currency market could yield substantial benefits. By reducing corruption and increasing transparency, the feeder platform aims to bolster overall economic stability, which is crucial for attracting foreign investments and fostering sustainable growth. For the dinar community, these reforms represent a significant milestone. While it remains premature speculate on an immediate revaluation of the dinar, RV, the groundwork laid by these reforms could set the stage for future advancements. Economic reforms that enhance transparency and mitigate corruption are fundamental prerequisites for any potential revaluation scenario. In conclusion, the cessation of dollar auctions and the introduction of the FIDA platform mark a pivotal moment in Iraq's economic strategy. This strategic shift not only aims to enhance the integrity of currency management but also signals Iraq's commitment to fostering a more robust and transparent economic environment. As we monitor these developments closely, it will be essential to observe how these changes unfold and their implications for the dinar community and broader economic stability. Stay tuned for further updates and analysis as this transformative process unfolds.